Good morning, everyone. It's Amory, and today I'm excited to take you to the first horse sale of the 2023 season. We are going into the Flying E facility in Wickenburg, Arizona for the rope horse sale. So let's load up, get to the sale, and I'll give you the details when we get there. We have made it to the Flying E facility, and by we, I mean me and Milo. The sale doesn't start for a while, and so Cisco's gonna come later, but I wanted to come early so I could check out the preview and show you guys around. have catalog in hand. So if you guys could kind of read the catalog, this is the rope horse sale put on by BJ and Heather Campbell. This is the second year they've done it at the Flying E in Wickenburg, Arizona, and their sale specifically is rope horses only. It doesn't matter if they have papers, if they're a mare or gelding, but they have to be broke and they have to be a rope horse to be in this sale. Now we don't have anything consigned to this sale, but it's still fun for Cisco and I to come to something like this because it's in our area and this is kind of our industry and our market. So it's smart for us to come here, check out these horses and see how they sell. If there's certain disciplines or colors or random things like that, that we notice those horses are selling higher or doing better or more people are interested in, it's to our benefit to learn this and study it so that we can do a better job at horse sales or private sales in the future. We aren't selling today and we most likely are not buying, but every sale I go to, whether I'm buying or not, I like to play fun games where I pretend, oh, maybe in this situation I'd buy this horse or for that situation I'd buy this horse. So I kind of play a game with myself or pretend like I am interested. So I'm gonna play that with you guys also. I want you to participate. Stay tuned until the end of the video so you can check out all the horses. But let's flip through the catalog real quick and do a quick skim through of the horses. And then let me know in the comments whether you have horses or not or whether you have the money for a horse or not. I want to know what horse from today's auction would you buy and why. I'm going to go a little fast so if there's a certain horse that you want to read the description a little bit longer, pause the video.
that is your look at all the horses consigned to the rope horse sale. I will stay from the catalog. I have a favorite number 26 because he's pits or bred. And then the other one that I think is really cool and unique is lot 58, the little halflinger pony. So let me know what your guys' favorites are and what you think they'll sell for. And then at the end, we'll see what they actually sell for. Now let's head over and go watch the preview. I think here they start with like a branding kind of thing and then they'll get into the team roping. I know that everything is centered around roping and it is different than Pitzer's and it's new for me, but let's go check it out and see all the horses work. Watch the preview, they're still going. Maybe they're gonna break away in a little bit, but I'm getting hungry, so we're gonna need some food. We got some food and now the preview is all done. They're getting everything set up for the sale. We're gonna walk around and just hang out, but I want my phone to be at 100% when the sale starts so I can get all the action on the video and share that with you guys. So I'm gonna put my phone in the truck to charge and I'll come back and get you when the sale's starting. We have T minus 30 minutes until sale time. Do as much videoing as I can, especially the ones that stood out to me. But at the end, I will show all the prices so that everyone can know how much each horse sold for. So let's go, it's almost sale time. Well, you gotta love what the rain coming in the rain. Here's Jay Spoon down. Jay Spoon back is brought to you by Christy and Jeff Thurstenson. He's a son of the Stormy Dawn Dock, back to the Dawn Dock, and little brown eyes on the damn side, doing brand new. And I guess we'll leave that around our house here for the last couple of years. And you head on in, you can hear on. Let me know. Yeah, boys, you talk about the record on the strike wheels right here. I'm going to look good now with my horse, let's see if I can get down. 100, you're going to get a little bit of a 50, you're going to get a little bit of a 30 pound up, you're going to get a little bit of a 10 pound pound, I'll be a 12 pound up. The 10 pound 12 pound, you're going to get a little bit of a 10 pound 12 pound, you're going to get a little bit of a 10 pound 12 pound, you're going to get a little bit of a 10 pound 12 pound. Thank you both. 
Most of you belong in Ranchin Town. Most is really nice in the head and pen. He's soft, he's kind, he's quiet, he's extremely gentle to be around. And just a perfect gentleman each and every day. Remember to do that thing by the day. He's a good one. 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 Anybody can ride him from the number 14 on down. Very, very gentle and a pleasing personality. Lot number 23. down to the low numbers, and I'll tell you what, they've doctored on him, they've gathered in the cash for on him, you want a real deal, then go home and hey, you know, show him nothing, he hasn't already seen, there he is, he said he's big, he's gentle, he's kind, very personable kind of horse to have him around, they feel like anybody could get along with him. Not 38,000, spin, 32,000, anybody get 31? Hey, what did he get? He got 33, 31, 32, come along, he got 33, 33, 34, 34, 35, Everybody wants to nail. Come on, I'll tell you to go down. 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 I
turned down a lot of Saddle, so as they come across El Paso, they want every open in New Mexico that you can win. And there'd be a real horse to go by one 13,000, 12,000, 13,000, 12,000, 13,000. It'd be a real horse now, 12, 13. I got 14, 15, 16, 16, 17. Want every open you can win Mexico, and they want a bunch of across. 17, 16, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, the horse of Jason's been hauling to the jackpots and healing on and hit success. He heads on him. He can break away calves on him. He's extremely cowy. He does want one thing to let you know. He can back just a good cinching. And I've been around him and I promise you it ain't much. He tied side once in a while. He might sit back on the end of that lead rope. But he wants to be honest straight up and tell you how he is. I've watched Jason. He's had his young boy up there in the saddle with him. If he wasn't gentle, he wouldn't have the tool to ride with him. I guarantee that. This sucker is gentle, but he does have that little niche to him. And a good master. All right. You're sitting here. He's 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 done but it's getting late and i'm gonna go ahead and head home we've got lots of animals to take care of and tomorrow is a big day for cisco and i we have a team rope in jackpot so stay tuned for that video coming up 
but I did stay till the halflinger because I didn't want to miss him and then I found out that I can watch the sale online so I'm just going to play it on my phone as I drive home and listen to it so I can keep track of the prices that way and then at the end of this video I'm going to add all the prices so that everyone knows them. I don't know if you all care as much as I do but I love seeing what horses sell for at things like this and if you were following along like I did let me know in the comments what was your favorite horse and did they sell for more or less than you thought they would. Thank you for coming along to the rope horse sale in Wickenburg, Arizona with me today. We've got lots more sales coming up in the future and I love going to them so I'm happy to take everyone along. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my content overall, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks again for coming along and I'll catch you on the next adventure.